All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's almost here. In one minute. <laughs> Any of my other fellow conquerors click on Art of Conquest way too many times during this patch. <laughs> Even though they knew it wasn't going to be done for two hours. I don't know why. I don't know. <laughs> it's silly, but... Yeah, I've, I've clicked on this way too many times. Very excited for this patch. And there we go. We got in right at the bubble. So let's see what's new with the patch. Just need to collect everything real quick. So many things going on. I wish I had a top level dragon so we could start getting into 51. See if that new hero is going to be in a hero chest right now. I'm guessing it'll be within 21 hours. And we've been saving up our soul bits, so we're going to have that immediately. <laughs> Mrs. Smash Alarm's going off. Now she knows the patch is ready to go. Mrs. Smash was taking a little bit of a nap. All right, unblock a chakra. Enlightening. Let's see what these options are. Faster attack speed. We have bonus damage mitigation. Faster hospital recovery. Faster training. We can't do this one, but this is bonus health by 1%. And bonus attack. If there's anything I want from these more than anything else is for them to be able to take more damage. We have our first level. Bonus Outrider Damage Mitigation. 0.5%. Every little bit counts. Bonus Watcher Accuracy. Attack Speed. Hospital Recovery. Training Speed. So we would be looking for the attack speed and the attack damage for sure. So we have the new material for enlightening them as well. And that would be yes. Without a doubt, yes. So we're going to get another 1% attack. Oh, it doesn't work on your siege units. That makes sense. And you get 1,500 power for one enlighten. That's pretty awesome. Any new statues? Nope. No new statues. But we do have the ability to enlighten troops. Let's take a quick look at the notes. See what to look for. Alright, we went through the enlightening. Level to 45. The new hero, and this allows her to switch stances. Alright, well we will look at that new hero as soon as she comes out. I was hoping she would be here right at the beginning. And we have new achievements. New temple achievements. Alright, let's see what we have there. Oh, hello. Look at all this good stuff. Dragon mount. How do we get you? Socket all statues with plus eight rune stones or higher. Hello, ballers. Rune stones all plus six. Rune stones all plus four. This is certainly in our future. We will become a believer. But this, this is going to take a lifetime. Which we have. We're still young. <laughs> we have enough years left in our lives to achieve this. It will happen one day. Also, looks like we're going to be getting some more. No, still same rewards. Maybe they'll add some more rewards on there too in the future. Now, 
Now we need to get over to the void. Because as promised, we are going to try to get a void level out the way every single day. We're not going to be competing in this gold event. Oh, we're going to miss out on this. New hero. At least we can check out the overview. Check out these abilities. Phase shift. Her attack stance mirrored the lunar phase. She also gains evasion. Its duration is prolonged by 0. 0.0 seconds for Nuella and her outrider sisters. As a disciple of the moon goddess, <laughs> Lunella can bend the moonlight to her will. She wields a moonlight spear in Melee stance and transforms it into a Melee glaive as she phases into range stance. Luna's Blessing. When Lunella is attacked while wielding her Moonlight Spear, the goddess blesses her with a 35% chance to summon a Huntress <laughs> to assist in battle for 20 seconds and gain a Moonlight Barrier with 500 health. When the barrier fails, it releases an explosion of Moonlight that damages enemies for 20% of its original health. When Lunella is wielding the Moonlight Glaive, the goddess blesses her with 1% health recovery per second. Stamina increases the barrier. Why can you not put this in the hero chest right now? <laughs> I need this in my life. Starfall. Forgive me. Got a big cup of coffee for this patch. Every so often, Lunella calls down a shower of three shooting stars onto that battlefield. When Lunella is wielding the Moonlight Spear, each star deals 20 damage to enemies and blinds them. When Lunella is wielding the Moonlight Glaive, instead of the damaging enemies, each star heals nearby allies for 30 health, and the number of shooting stars is doubled. Good stuff, and it already triples at level 2. Actually, more than triples, what the heck? I mean, if we're doing math, it goes up times 4 point... Times 4.5 <laughs> for one level. Good stuff. Lunar Wrath. Every so often, Lunella launches a powerful attack with her weapon. When in melee stance, she hurls the Moonlight Spear down onto the battlefield, damaging nearby enemies for 20 damage and stunning them for 2.5 seconds. When in range stance, she throws her Moonlight Glaive into the sky where it hangs spinning for 2.5 seconds, raining down a cascade of Moonlight missiles that damage enemies for 5% of their health plus one. <sighs> we need this. Put her in the next chest. Quit messing with our failings. Lunella's movements are infused with the grace of the moon. When wielding the Moonlight Spear, she gains 4% evade chance and 4% magic resistance. When wielding the Moonlight Glaive, she gains 5% bonus magic damage and 5% attack speed. The first time her health drops too low, when she is in melee stance, Luna will automatically phase into range stance. Very cool. See, so Victory Road is coming up at 51 minutes. Alright, today we are on stage 86. Cast no abilities. We'll try number three. Number three has worked out pretty well in the past. For silver wings. Let's see if they can get it done. The cycle continues. <laughs> and we are good. Long live silver wings. Now, I doubt we can do one more level, but let's at least take a look what number 87 is going to require. It's going to be three heroes or less, and there aren't any spearmen, so that's going to be good. We'll give that one a try in the next cycle, 14 hours from now, let's see what we get. Ah, nothing too special. We always need more of the currency though. Alright, let's see if there's anything else that we missed. Uh, 
I mean, the truth buff, that's going to change the game. Not having to put your heroes in there. That's a very interesting addition. 20 new void levels. We can't, can't do anything about that anytime soon. Balrog has been changed a little bit. Dwarf got some buffs. Mech suit, mech walker, and battle melt. Mech health increased by 10%. Rifle, sharpshooter, dead eyes, 30%. Where are we at? Sylvani, here we go. Wisp is attacked, increased 20%. Evade chance of evasion reduced. No, we don't want that. Okay. Well, it looks like that's pretty much it for the patch for now. Not sure how we get more of these enlightened scrolls. Maybe it'll tell us. Not enough sutra scrolls. Let's see if we can buy those anywhere. Check out the old black market real quick. One of our allies got in. Alright, let's see here. Alright, also we can check over here as well. See if the Royal Archive has what we need. Now we have mail. Oh, free hundred Lenari, three thousand of each resource. Thank you very much. I'm gonna check the patch one last time. Let's see if it says where we can get more of those scrolls at. Okay, so we're going to be able to find more of the scrolls from Activity Rewards, Victory Road, and Raid Dungeons. Okay. Do a quick little quest action. I think we have battle bits. Okay, good. We have 15. Get to see if we get any of these scrolls. Alright, so we have gone through seven dungeons, and out of those seven dungeons, we have not gotten one scroll. So I'm not sure what the drop rate is on those. We get to see in the near term on this victory road how many scrolls we'll get, and perhaps in the power event they'll stop dropping them. But come on! 20 hours! We need her now! Not in 20 hours! Well, I thank you all for watching. We're going to get to review this hero in 20 hours. We're going to get to level her up. We are saving up as many XP scrolls as we have, as we possibly can. Let's see how many we have. We do not have as many as I would like. Let's see. The hero trials. Have we done that yet? We have not, so we will have a good amount. Maybe we can get her to level 30, maybe 35. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy this patch as much as I'm going to. Y'all have a great day.